Help keep this channel on the air by clicking the subscribe button and thank you for watching. Today we are talking about Wish. A dream is a wish. What is wish? That is a question that you will find on many videos and I'm not going to go fully into that right now because you can find out if you look other places. I might even make a video that's like simple wish knowledge, which will go here if it ever gets made. One of the best things about wish is you can get things that you probably won't be seeing anywhere else. A lot of them are remakes of things you see in movies. Okay, the first thing I ever bought from wish was a bracelet. And the reason I got it, I became a Hunger Games fan right before the last movie came out. And of course, the last movie didn't have much merchandise behind it. And I can kind of see why, because I didn't like the movies. Everything I loved about those books got taken out of the movies. But the books are amazing. When I became a fan of Hunger Games, it was like right when they stopped selling the merchandise because I'd been seeing it and I'm like yeah okay that's that movie that everybody's crazy about I don't care so to get merchandise from the Hunger Games I had to go on eBay and I didn't want to spend a lot but I wanted I wanted a pen and I didn't want a pen that they've been selling from the movies I wanted the actual pen that looked like it came from the book because the difference between the book and the movie is the pen the, the gold pen is no longer gold, it's brass in the movie. And the ones they sold for the movie is brass. And I wanted a one that looked like it came from the book. So I finally found one, and not only did, did it come with the gold pen, it also came with a necklace that was brass, which was fine. I, I was like, I can wear that too, just for fun fake leather cord. Little thing here that says Lion Gate, which I don't like Lion Gate. I'm looking to the movie, but I'm a little hungry. I'm sitting there. I really wanted this. Now this, I actually have not had a chance to wear it, and I barely have taken it out of the bag. <laughs> but you can see it's very pretty. Oh yeah! I am not sure if these were ever sold, like, as the movie merchandise. I don't even know it's licensed. I don't know. But I wanted to go. I'm not sure where this one came from, where they sold them, because I only saw the brass ones in the store. This might have been a Chinese product too, because Wish does sell this type of pen too. Most of the ones that are left on there now have a single stick pen that sticks out here. You know, just a little thing there. This one has a full Pen. I wanted that kind of pen instead of the other kind, so I'm glad I managed to get that. And it came with this, and I did not pay much at all for it. Maybe three dollars. And I mean, I think that was including shipping. When I looked up the Hunger Games on Wish, I found bracelets. And I found this. I think that's neat. That'll match my necklace. I have worn the necklace, and I liked wearing the necklace, even though it's movie, not the books, but it's, it's it's still the Hunger Games. Okay, a lot of people say that when you buy from Wish the first time, you can get like 50% off. I don't know what happened with mine, but I didn't get a 50% off on mine. Maybe <laughs> I waited too long. I don't know. But I did get a discount of 5% off when I bought the bracelet, which took it down to $1.80. I'm definitely not going to find it at Walmart. They don't even sell them anymore. So let me show you what I got and how it looked. So on me, it's a little, it's a little big, but I have a very small wrist. As you can see, it matches. They match really well. This one's a little smaller than the necklace, which is good. The next thing I got was kind of strange because I was not looking for it. I had not typed in anything that I remember typing in to get something like this, but it just showed up. And I didn't know they made it. I never even thought to look to see if they made it. It goes back, way back to 2003, I believe. 2003, I was doing a Renaissance play, and I 
I didn't make all my costumes, but I made this. It's most, it's, it's handmade. It needs ironing and a little dusting because it, it was on a wig form for a while and kind of got dusty. But this is a recreation of Anne Boleyn's French hood. Let me tell you, these are not easy to make. I've, I've made two. I didn't wear, in, in the show, I didn't wear this one. I wore a different one. My cousin wore this one because the dress that this matches fit, fit her better. Actually, I, I couldn't even get in it at the time. I, I weighed a whole lot more than, now I probably could get into it, but I've had this the whole, ever since. Now when I, I, the hood I wore was Lady Jane Grey. And I made a, they had these decorative things that they wore and I found it recently, I don't have it with me at the moment. But I took a Christmas ornament and put a J on it for Lady Jane. And I did wear that in the show. But for Anne, Anne Boleyn costume, I was like, wow, that's neat. I need this for my French hood. We have Anne Boleyn's necklace that goes with the hood. A recreation of that necklace. And it's like, why? Why would somebody make this? <laughs> I mean, I love it because it goes with my hood. And of course people say, why did you recreate Anne Boleyn's hood? Good question. Because I am a historian, in case other people haven't seen some of the videos that I've done where I do historical reenactments, I sing, check it out there. And I do a lot of theater. I work in theater. so. That's the reason I have so many costumes, dresses, and crazy stuff like that. But this was a perfect, this is perfect for my collection. And there you go. The next time I want to be Anne Boleyn, I now have the hood, necklace, and dress. The reason I did find figure out that they did make this is because there's been television shows made since I actually made this French hood so people have interest in the era and the, and the historical characters and that's the reason why this was made. I didn't realize it was, it was something that they would make a replica of, but it's a very interesting piece of history and of course Anne Boleyn lost her head. I have even have in my family rumors and they are probably most likely rumors that I am descended from Anne Boleyn's cousin, I believe it was, Lady Jane Grey, which I played in that show. Uh, and I've looked into it. It's not true, I don't think, but it's an interesting piece of history and I guess gossip from the Tudor era. Well, I'm sure a lot of people can guess where this came from. This did not come from Wish, though you can buy them from Wish and they're probably just as good quality, maybe even better. I found it actually at a thrift store for about $3. It didn't come with a chain. And see, since 1997, I remember back, they had these. Actually, they weren't as good a quality as this one, but I didn't buy one. I wanted one, I didn't buy one. And then years after that, I like, I wish I had gotten one. And I found this one, no chain. So I looked around for a chain and I got it. I got this one on clearance at a dollar store. <laughs> it had a different necklace on it. I just took the necklace off. It was like a cheap rhinestone and put it on this. And it has held up really well. Amazing. I have worn it a couple of times, mostly as a costume. I, I feel funny wearing this every day, but it's a fun item to have. But the thing that I did buy from Wish is inspired by Titanic. It is, and it has really good reviews. It's one of those verified items seller things. It is, oh and it's gorgeous, I love wearing it. It's listed as sterling silver. Now, if you know anything about Wish, 
kind of take take it with a grain of salt of what it's really made out of. I will say that this is made of a pretty good material. It's not something that wears off the the day you wear it, first day you wear it, and it has never turned my finger green. I've worn it about three, four times. One time I was playing maracas and I didn't realize, uh, and it, I was like right in the middle of it, thinking, oh no, I have that ring on, and and rings like my good rings that you know I know I need to take special care of. I probably wouldn't put through that, it, but you can. It's it's in pretty good condition. And I have never really had my my uh, fingers turn green from any uh, costume jewelry. I did have some Middle Eastern jewelry that turned my, my fingers funny color, but that is the only thing that's ever turned. And I, I wear costume jewelry a lot, so I don't know if that means anything or not. The quality, I mean, it's it it's the weight of silver. The only difference is you're going to see is not every single rhinestone is set with prongs. They're glued. But I've worn it several times, nothing has fallen off. Also, there's places where the little holes should be to let more light into the stone. Those are not, those are closed up. But other than that, it's a very, very pretty ring. It's very shiny, very sparkly. I mean, this thing's got fire to it. I bought this at Walmart probably about 10 to 15 years ago. This is gold um, over silver, created sapphire, I think. But you can see here with this one, there are holes where the little tiny stones are, which you're not going to see with this ring. But you really don't need it. It's really sparkly. Just last week, I um, came across some Walmart jewelry. And the thing is, I am not a fan of Walmart jewelry. And it's one of the reasons that I look on Wish a lot, because I have gotten jewelry from Walmart that has torn up, stones falling out, the silver starts chipping off, and silver is not supposed to chip off. And it turned. I've had I had one really pretty expensive necklace turn blackish gray, and there is no cleaning it. It's just it's awful. So I'm not impressed and with Walmart's jewelry. I don't trust Walmart's jewelry. I would I trust Walmart's jewelry a pretty close to what I trust Wish jewelry for. You just need to look at the reviews, see what people have to say about it. Some rings you're gonna see look like they are worth a dollar or two, but some of them, like this one, I would say is worth a bit more than two dollars. And you're gonna get your two dollars worth of wear out of this ring, even if the stones fall out in six months. So we have three, two, and five. Most of everything I buy, I get less than in, in less than a month. I know a lot of people complain about it. It takes months. I have never bought anything that's taken more than a month or even a month. And I about forgot that I got one other Titanic thing. It's Rose's comb. It's pretty, and it's, I mean, you want to talk about heavy duty? This thing is so heavy, it'll fall out of your hair. And the thing is, is this is this is all metal. It's very, very tough. The different, I mean, actually, I just noticed this, but light can go through that stone. Like, a, like I was talking about with the ring, there's no holes. Well, there's a hole in this ring. There's a hole in the blue ring. Or the stone. Yeah, it can get light, but uh, I can't reach it. This thing's sturdy. The plastic does seem like it could break if it was put under enough pressure, but the, this metal thing, uh, the first time I wore it, I was getting out of the car, boom, right on the concrete. It's fine. This thing would survive the Titanic and still be laying there in better shape than the one they had in the movie. <laughs> and I paid $2.38. The last and final thing, don't, it's not really a, 
a movie prop though I'm sure it has been portrayed in movies so I'm going to consider it a movie prop but actually it is a reproduction of Queen Elizabeth's wedding tiara. Now this thing has fire. did read on some of the reviews that they got some that the that the stones had fallen out of and the seller said that if that happens just glue them back in which that's fine I would not be happy if the stone fell out and the stone was no longer with it that I would have a problem with but mine came with all the stones it, it looks fine it has the back here with a little rounded thing so I guess you can attach a veil or something to hold it into your hair. So we've gone from Queen Anne Boleyn, who lost her head, to Queen Elizabeth, who is still reigning after, what, like 50 years, isn't it? Do I recommend Wish? Yes. If you are buying unusual items that you cannot find anywhere else and they have good ratings, you need to look at the pictures, which this is what I've done. Most everything I bought, well, everything I bought, I made sure I saw a picture of the item before I bought it. And when I mean a picture, I don't mean what the seller is using. I'm talking about the picture that someone who's received the item from the seller. The Anne Boleyn necklace I bought from a different seller than I saw the picture of because that seller was selling it cheaper and I and I did get what I saw in the pictures of the other seller that was selling it but most of the other ones I bought seeing exactly what that seller was sending their customers very happy with all of the stuff I just showed you <laughs> yeah, that's why it has things to look great so get on there check out your favorite movies books TV show and there might be some <laughs> there might be some interesting stuff you might want to wear next time